Hey, good morning, this is Ray KD2IBP. Today's December 5th, 2019. My uh, neighbor had called me and said that he spotted this snowblower on the side of the road. It's an Arians ST724. Typically a snowblower like this costs like a grand. Um, <clears throat> this one's in mighty fine shape with a couple of blemishes here and there. Uh, there's a crack on uh, the chute a little bit. That's uh, an easy fix. Um, the engine was blown on this thing. That's why it was out on the curb. Um, everything else seems to be okay with the uh, blower itself, this portion of it. Uh, the, the engine, it's one of these Chinese jobs, and uh, it's a two shaft. Uh, this, uh, this shaft is off of the camshaft, and it drives this small pulley, which is for the self-propulsion of the blower. Uh, this shaft controls the basket that throws the snow out the chute, and uh, this is off the crankshaft. Uh, I could not find an engine replacement, a direct bolt-on uh, for this because it's a two-shaft. Okay, Northern Tool claimed that their engine was a direct bolt-on, but uh, that is bullshit. There was no such thing. I don't believe so. So uh, some, of the, some of the challenges that we had here was in order to fix this engine, the thing was when, it, when I cranked it over while well, it was still bolted on, I was getting no compression. You know, you could tell by putting your finger over the over the uh, spark plug hole uh, on the head. There was no compression, and there was definitely no vacuum coming in through the carburetor, which led me to believe either somebody blew a hole in the piston, trying to spank it with some ether to get it started, or I had a valve or two hanging up. Um, I, in either case, I had to open up the crankcase and take a look. It was easier than taking the head off with all the shit that's bolted onto it. So uh, I opened up the crankcase, and what I discovered was the piston connecting rod was blown apart. And uh, I couldn't get a replacement. They don't ma manufacture that part anymore. Not to mention that the camshaft itself, not the cam, the crankshaft itself, um, where the connecting rod connects, is all beat to shit. It's all scored up. So I'd have to pull this out and polish it. So I, I wasn't going to do all that either. So I did a little hunting around for a, uh, a different engine. So what I did was I went to uh, Northern Tool and I got this 11 horse. The smaller engine here is a 7 horse. So this is a little bit more powerful. And uh, according to customer reviews in Northern Tool, it looked like a direct bolt-on. You know, guys are saying, oh, I just bolted this on, hooked up the belts, everything works well. And I'm able to throw snow 50 feet. Uh, nonsense, okay? Uh, when somebody tells you they have a direct bolt-on, they're full of shit for the most part, okay? And uh, you're going to have to do some work to get it to match the blower. Uh, a couple of the challenges here was now I'm dealing with a one-inch shaft single shaft so I have to figure out how to drive the basket and the self propulsion off of one shaft that spins in the same direction whereas these two shafts on the Chinese motor spin in opposite directions so that's one of the challenges second challenge is if you look at these pulleys the pulley to drive the self propulsion is a little bit smaller than the pulley that I'm going to use. And the reason being is because of the shaft diameter here. It's a lot smaller. I forget what the shaft diameter is here, but this has to be one inch. There's no way I was going to be able to board this out to one inch and uh, be successful because it's just not enough meat on the pulley uh, to do that. I had to go up to two and a half inches in size, which is not too big of a deal. It's, it's a half inch greater in diameter. This is a two inch. This is a two and a half. So, the problem that this could present is that this two, two and a half inch pulley might drive the machine a little bit quicker than I want it to be driven. I'm going to see if I can control it and I might have to flip something else around in the, in the uh, blower to uh, emulate this going in the opposite direction as the, uh, the main drive pulley. <clears throat> I sent this over to my buddies over at uh, Precision, uh, Precision Machining, Precision Parts in Bohemia. They threw this on the lathe for me, and they opened this up to uh, one inch, and they did an excellent job. I mean, the, I gave them both pulleys, uh, the drive pulley and the basket pulley. The basket pulley, I, I was able to get the right diameter and the right shaft size right right out of stock. 
but I, I gave this to them as a reference point and they just did a smack up job. So these two pulleys will drive, hopefully, the blower. Um, I don't expect this bolt pattern to exactly match the bolt pattern that's on the blower, so I might have to modify that some. But uh, we're going to get busy and see how we do. And uh, get back to you. Just, again, if you're going to go to a northern tool and buy an engine and you listen to the customer views, they're going to bullshit you. Okay? I tried to post on the same page that this is nonsense. It is not a direct on direct bolt on for this blower, but Northern Tool won't let me post that because they probably have a container full of these that they have to get rid of and they're probably doing a pretty fine job at it. And if I were to return this motor, uh, this motor was about $365, I believe, $68 delivered. If I were to return it, I'd have to pay shipping to return it and I would have to pay a 15% restocking fee. So that's probably like a hundred bucks right off the top. So fuck them. I will, uh, I'll do my best to make this work, and, and I think I'm going to make it work. But uh, we'll uh, post another video, and hopefully it'll be a video of this thing working correctly. Okay? Ray KD2YBP, clear for now. Okay, so we're done bolting on the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the Briggs & Stratton to the Arians ST724. Um, I was able to get the pulleys going. This is the drive pulley. This is the pulley for the basket that uh, that runs the snow out the chute. And the only thing I really had to change, aside from the pulleys, <clears throat> is I had to shorten the belt by one inch on a drive pulley. Uh, because you got to remember, the pulley was originally operating off the camshaft. Now it's operating off the drive shaft. Another difference is um, now that both pulleys are operating on the same rotation, which is count, uh, clockwise if you're looking at it from the back of the motor. This, the drive mechanism is inverted. So forward is now reverse, reverse is now forward. I could change that mechanically, but what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the stickers on here, and it, it works the same way. The same gear ratio, forward, reverse, the same speeds, the two speeds forward, or the same two speeds reverse. I'm not going to mess with any of that. Uh, another big difference that gave us a little bit of a, a hard time was the bolt pattern on the base of the motor. If you look at the base of the engine, you have about a half an inch um, from the top to the bottom. And the bolts that were installed in here were installed on a rack uh, that was held up by a clip. I had to take that clip down and put new bolts onto the engine to affix it to the chassis of the snowblower. <clears throat> I had to cut these holes open with a grinder so I could access the bottom because there's no other way in there. <clears throat> so these being the, the major hurdles, they weren't too terrible.